Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to talk about how to update the VIN on your ECU. So here's a common scenario. You've upgraded to MSD81, you've updated your software to MHD, and now you're not able to pass emissions. Let me show you why. So this is a cheapy scan tool, but this is the VIN being reported back by it. It's wrong. Mine ends in 990. This is from the donor ECU. The VIN on the ECU is different than the cast VIN, but it's still working because MHD understands that. But I can't go for an emission test like this. Step one is going to be to go back to stock map, flash back to stock. So I want to do stock power and I have the options for main thing is my N20 uh, bar sensor. I have to use this. So we'll let that go through and then I'll come back once I'm back on stock map. Of course, the car is on a battery charger while I flash. There you go, ends in 990. I'm pleasantly surprised. It seems that the latest iteration, the latest update of MHD writes the proper VIN from the CAS to your secondary uh, AIF or UIF slot. So I actually do have the right VIN. They must have updated the software because initially it wrote the wrong VIN. That's how I even ended up in this position, but that's pretty awesome. Let's verify with IMPA. Let's go to IMPA. I'm gonna go to Shift F8. I'm gonna go to functional jobs, UIF, and my DME as my VIN. That's awesome. Just before doing this, I had a whole elaborate video planned out, uh, but look, I got my appropriate VIN reporting back. So when MHD flashed back to stock map operations, it took the appropriate VIN for the car and actually wrote that as you would hope, they must have updated that recently. Okay, I'm gonna go over here to AIF read. AIF lesson, double click, boom, we got the right bin. That is awesome. Slot one and slot two. So let's go see what uh, MHD shows via the scan tool. So MHD still realizes that the primary UIF slot is the 131, but in terms of how it reports back on a scan tool, it's proper. So that's some good news for you guys that want to update your ECU. It's usually a, a big issue um, when you want to change to the MSD81, but they fixed it. I could have got around this anyway, but now it's actually fixed. But I feel good that I pulled out my laptop so I could verify for you guys that this is a thing and it reports back even via tool 32 that it is in fact the right VIN for the car. So when I go for my emissions test, it's going to match. And I think now when I update back to MHD, it will still match. So it should be a one-time thing now that they've done the software update. If by chance it's not a one-time thing and for some reason flashing your map back causes it to revert back to the primary UIF written to the ECU and it still has a mismatch. At least now we know when you flash back the stock map operations, it will match for the sake of being able to get your emission test. This is a short video, but it's going to help a lot of people that are considering upgrading to the MSD81 to avoid the MOSFET issues to uh, go ahead with it because you can still pass emissions. So I'm going to conclude this video here. If this is the first video you're catching on mine, consider subscribing. I do upload regularly. Thanks for watching. <laughs>